Hello. I apologize uh, in advance about the sound quality. I am out and about on my deck. But I had an email which surprised me. Uh, Thank you for listening to my YouTube channel. The email asked, Why do narcissistic people start fights for no reason? And I wanted to get into this, but first I want to tell you two stories. The first story is from a romantic partner, and the second is from a female family member. And then I'll tell <laughs> and then I'll tell you why. So the first is from a long-time intimate partner, and I And we were at each, at odds with each other for years. Um, his mask, uh, basically the portrayal of who his false self was, was starting to slip. And I had been with this person for a very long time, and I endured a lot of his abuse. And so it got to the point where I just didn't want to take it anymore. So <clears throat> in response to a lot of his... B.S., I just became stoic. And I will never forget that we were in a cab and we had an argument about a fence around our condo. And it was a hilarious argument where I was being rational about it. We cannot build a fence until we have permits from the city We don't know what kind of lines are underneath um, our condo. We don't know what kind of water mains, you know, logical stuff. And he was adamant about doing it anyway. Now, if you are a rational person, you would think, oh, well, I don't want to break a water main and then end up having, you know, the city come to my yard and people not having water around me, my neighbors, etc. I mean, you would think that would be logical. But I knew as I sat there just talking stoically about the logic of having a fence and he was getting more and more emotional that he was trying to get me off balance and get me angry with him. The second story is from a, um, <clears throat> a parental figure where I had to go to the bank and this figure, this female figure, had to go with me. And I just refused to argue with her. And she argued in the car the entire time. And I just sat there stoically. And the more quiet I got, the louder she got to the point where she started to cry in the bank. So I just took tissues from the banker's desk, passed them to her without giving her eye contact, and told her very, very quietly that she's embarrassing herself. And those tears stopped immediately. Very strange for someone who supposedly was an emotional wreck. Now that you hear these stories, I hope you see the similarities between them, right? People who are narcissistic love drama. I've said this before. But they usually ramp up this drama when they see that you're not going to buy what they're selling anymore. Narcissistic people use emotional arguments to get a rise out of you to either manipulate your emotions to the point where when you come down from them, you're vulnerable and raw, and then they can come in with their gift giving, their, um, their attention, and you'll forgive them, right? And then they can act stupid all over again. Or... They're trying to test your boundaries like the children that they are and see how much of their emotional raging and abuse you'll take. They want to test your limits. So when your narcissist or NPD person is starting a fight with you, always pause and see if the topic is ridiculous. Always, always see if the topic's ridiculous because 9.5 times out of 10, it's always ridiculous. It could be 
as something as simple as like the wrapping on the butter is not folded correctly. Or it could be that the dishes are facing the other direction in the dishwasher. Or it could be super simple as you ordered a hamburger with no pickles and they didn't want pickles, but you didn't ask them that they didn't want pickles. You didn't confirm with them because they could have changed their mind and wanted pickles that day. This is a way for them to emotionally break you down because they now sense that you see through them, that you see their immaturity and their childishness, and they are trying to get their way. If you have an intimate partner and they start a fight with you because of something silly, they either want to date someone else because you'll be so pissed off that you'll tell them to leave you alone. And that way they can go ahead and date someone else and sleep with someone else. Or they can go with their buddies and their friends and have a vacation someplace. Or they can basically do what they want to do um, and you will leave them alone. An argument is a good way for an exit plan for them because if they're held responsible for something, they can always blame you that you were the one who was emotionally crazy. The other option is why they're starting an argument is because, as I said before, they want to test your boundaries because now you're seeing through them to the point where you're having boundaries and you're basically telling them to put up and shut up. You're making them accountable for their actions and they don't like it. So then they're going to start testing and see how far they can push you to the point of getting you angry and then seeing, you know, if your boundaries are really going to stick. I've had this happen multiple times before. Um, I had a parental figure who was different from the woman in the bank. Um, ask me that we should have a relationship. And I had gone through this parental figure enough. And I got tired of it, the money, the tears, the wasted time. And I was very blunt with her. And I stated very calmly, um, no, I don't want a relationship with you unless you can be transparent, unless you can be communicative, unless you can pay me back the money that you stole um, because quite frankly, you take from my emotional well and you don't refresh my emotional well. And if you are not positive, you are negative and I do not want you in my life unless you can straighten up and fly right. Now you would think that a person who would want a relationship with another person, especially someone who is a parental figure or family member would say, you know what? You're right. I've been an asshole to you. So how about this? Let's start from the beginning. Let's start from scratch and let's go ahead and build our relationship. But someone who's narcissistic cannot take being told that they have to grow up. And so they'll start a fight or they'll ghost you. They'll get angry and try to punish you for basically making them act like the adults that they are. I hope this answers your question. Whenever a narcissist picks a fight with you, always remember before the fight, what was it they wanted to do that you wouldn't let them do? Or um, what was it that you basically said, I've had enough of, and you made them deal with boundaries? Or if you decided you just no longer wanted them in your life, or you wanted them to pay you back money or something that they've taken from you, what did they take from you? A narcissist always picks a fight for a reason, and they pick this fight to basically do what they want, test you, or get away from you. That's it. And honestly, now that I've told you this, the best way to react to it is to be completely and utterly logical. No emotion, no arguments, just state the facts calmly, quietly, with deep eye contact and then watch them squirm. Hope that helps. Thank you for emailing me. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Good night.